What's going on everybody? My name is Professor Parks and today I get the pleasure of interviewing my friend Shade here. He's from the UK. He's 29 years old from Birmingham. He had a really, really crazy from story. Huh? Where are you from? You're from London. From, from London, but I live in Birmingham. You live in Birmingham. Okay, we gotta get the facts straight here, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta rep the right cities out here, you know? When he was younger, he had a little bit of a crazy accident. He was six years old, and uh, he got knocked down. He got hit by a car, no? What kind of happened? If you want to explain that to me, Shay. Explain that to my well, friends here. Well, what it was like, I went on vacation in, to, to, to Dubai, and uh, I was a hyperactive child, so I was always running up and down. And what it was was like, my dad took up, took me out one day, and uh, my dad went out of the car to do something. And me, obviously being hyperactive and all that stuff, I got out of the car on the pavement side, and bam! Right away. So it. you're on the, you're on your, yeah. your, um, you're towards the road. Second, you open that door, it was not even a second hit, eh? Yeah, man. And then oh. that's it. Changed my life forever. Wow, man. Wow. Six years old, you know? Do you remember much after the impact? Do you remember, like, like on the ground or these hospital, like the, uh, what, you know, uh, ambulance? I was out cold, unconscious, you know, but mm. I do remember, like, my life before I got in, the, before I got run over, but at the time, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. So what yeah. was your hospital stay like? Like, how long did you stay there and stuff, or...? <laughs> Uh, I was in I was in coma for like probably about two months or something like oh, that. Oh like. my gosh! Okay, so you were yeah. out cold. That did was that an induced coma by the hospital, or was that from the impact from the coma? Two months. Uh, I was in the hospital. I was from the car crash, and then they put me in the hospital, and yeah, I was just there, and uh, yep, I couldn't I couldn't breathe from my mouth or nose, so they had to like open my throat to get me. Which is where the, the trach trach tube. Yeah. Yep, yep, the tracheostomy. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and then, and then my right hand was closed shut like this. Okay. Yeah, seven closed shut like this. My head was swollen. It was big. Your head was, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, and, uh, how about right now? Do you just have that one finger movement, or are we good now in your hand? You're good. Oh, you're good. You're good. All right, <laughs> bless. Oh, my, yeah, good. yeah. Oh, my, so, yeah. You're good. Uh. Yeah, so uh, my head was swollen, it was massive, but um, uh, obviously it's, it's a white now. Hey, he's got the fresh <laughs> cut, it looks good. Uh, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah that's the thing. I was, on, I was in food, feeding tubes, feeding tubes. In your stomach there, uh, yeah? I was, oh, uh, yeah, I was, I was, I was bad, I was bad, but over the years, I've uh, got a lot better in it. Like, I mm -hmm. never gave up on us. No, nah, you're smiling, Shane. You're smiling, bro. I like it. I like it. Yeah, man. So how long? So you woke up out of the coma after two months, right? And then what yeah. happened? What would tell me about your story after that? I got, I kind of feel bad for this and ashamed for this because uh, my don't parents ever feel dead. bad for anything. Don't ever feel like, bad. My, you won't feel bad after this. My parents were there and they were like trying to get me to talk and everything, and. uh Soon as the nurse walked in, the woman nurse, I smiled at her. I never smiled before that. Now <laughs> your parents, for the second Dad. this cute little nurse comes in, you're like, hey. <laughs> so that's when I started smiling at, at the Chinese nurse. And then from there, it's like, I couldn't eat nothing because obviously my my tongue would split in two. It's not split in two now because they sold it. They oh sold gosh. it and like, they sold it, so it's not spent two more. Because when I hit the ground, obviously I bit my tongue. Oh, okay. So it's split in half there, and that was like the lack of being able to speak. Now they sold up. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I, my mom used to feed me baby food because I couldn't swallow, like, I couldn't swallow, like, um, uh, no, a normal big solid, food. Solid, solid food, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... I have to thank my mom a lot for this because she was she was in and she never left the hospital. She was just by my side all the time. So good, good. That's yeah. that's Mama Bear right there. Yeah, that's Mama Bear right there. That's mm. good. So okay, so you stayed you stayed in the hospital for do you know an, like an approximate time all together two months plus like a it, it, this was in Dubai. I stayed there for a mouth time because. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was really messed up, like from the car accident. Like, yes. 
my spine and scol- scoliosis. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, like, yeah, and then afterwards, because it was Dubai, obviously I'm not from there in it. So I won't get treated properly because I'm not, I'm not from there in it. I'm mm-hmm. got to pay and everything. You know what's so wild? Was- Sorry to interrupt you. What's yeah. wild is I totally forgot that you were in Dubai when this accident happened. That yeah, is a yeah. totally different life story right there. Mm. So continue, I apologize. And the car, the car speed there as well, so... Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but... um, So we decided to go back to London to get my treatment there, because if I... I'm born from... I'm from London, so it's going to be... They're going to treat me like they were. So we went back to London. From there, I went to a rehabilitation centre, which taught me how to, like, basically live my life again in the wheelchair. And prior to that, I didn't know how to talk. It's only someone uh, someone told me, you know, if you press the tracking tube, you can talk. And ever since then... Are you freaking... Are you talking. serious? Nobody told yeah. you that? That if you pressed on nah. the tube, that you are able to get more of, like, a good... Yeah. Oh, my gosh, man. And they, they, they said, when we told you that, you never shut, you never shut up after that. You yeah. always talk. Well, of course. Of course. Hey, yeah, yeah. I've been quiet over here and I've got some shit to say. All right? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Get ready, yeah, bitches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Right? Yeah, it's all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're a funny car, man. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, yeah. man. I appreciate that. Yeah. So since you've uh, come to adjust to your life and everything that's been going on, you've done things like, um, it seems that you've, uh, I'm trying to think of, I wouldn't say healed, but like, You've come to the point where you've recovered to where you're paralyzed to your knees down, right? Mm, so are you yeah. permanently in the wheelchair now? Permanently, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so do you, have you ever done any sort of like, you get like braces on, you do some standing training and all like that? Yeah, but I, I can't, I can't. No. Because my scoliosis and everything. Oh, but, okay. But that's, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's... It, 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 it. There's a lot, like, there's a lot. I bet. So how's the ex- uh, the accessibility in the UK? Is it, like, friendly out there when it comes to accessibility? Like, can you enter some stores? Like, do you have problems entering certain places? Yeah, I, 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 I can enter some stores and everything, because I, I'm the type of person that I don't let nothing be me. Like, if I want to go somewhere, I'll go there. But some people might say, oh, it's difficult to access this and this and this, but... Me, I find a way around it. Like no one's gonna tell me what to do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go where I want and everything. And ever since I was a young kid, I had that mindset. So I, I do that, and we will, we will learn. You will learn about that uh, afterwards. I like that, man. I but like that. some of my friends, they, they, they complain and everything and all that stuff. I do my own shopping. I come back. So, yeah. That's lit, man. That's awesome. And it, it's that type of mindset that brings you out of like a depression stage, yeah. you know. I'm sure you, I'm sure you had there was a point of depression at all. Like, do you when you were kind of you're young and you're like, okay, you're less seeing everybody yeah. else run around playing sports and stuff like that. Like, what what kind of hit you there when it came to depression and stuff like that? Well, funny thing, when you're six years old, you're a kid, you don't know what's happening and everything. But uh, when I started to turn eighteen, I was like. Because I went to a disabled school prior to this, but when I turned 18, I was, I just, you know, when you're mad, you, you start, you know, your adolescent, you start changing and everything. And I was like, depressed and everything. Because of the thing what people were telling me, they were like, my friends in the disabled school were telling me, like, you know, when are going to be able to get, like, a real girl and everything, an a, a able bodied girl and everything like that. And I was thinking in my mind, one day I'm gonna prove them wrong. Then I, I thought that, and then after the, after school, because they were telling us all negative stuff like, you know, when you go outside, people are gonna look at you funny because you're in the water. And I was thinking in my head, that can't be right. So after school and after sixth form, I uh, went to an everybody college, and it was nothing what they said it was. I got my f- girlfriend that was walking and everything like. So do you, these people from this disability school sort of had put this in your mindset that things were going to be different when you when you left? And you said... The teachers as well. Teachers the as teachers, well. 
Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So and then you said, "Fuck that! I'm going to an able-bodied college." You went yeah. there, found a sexy chica with the legs working. Things were good. Yeah. Life is good out there. Did you yeah. end up graduating? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I did actually, yeah. What'd you take? What was your major? Oh, uh, it was I, yeah, media. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, have I you pursued it. anything from that at all? You kind of what, what happened with that? Uh, I, I, I did have a radio show. Uh, years ago. Your radio oh, show? Okay, oh, so tell me about this radio show. Good to say that one. It's on Twitch Radio. Like I got a picture on my Instagram of me at a radio in front of a radio station thing. So, it's on say now. I used to interview people with disabilities, like give them a platform. I like. Interview people with I'm gonna uh, put this up right now. So this is you. I'm yeah. gonna share the screen then. So this is you yeah. here at the uh but that's an old picture, that's an old picture. Uh, I look I look mad in that picture. Uh, that's, an picture. <laughs> that's an old picture still though. This is you at the switch radio. You had yeah, Shane Radio. He's, he's right blessed. Now. I like that, man. Uh, man exposing me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an old picture. I'm that's looking cool. like that now. Old picture, yeah. that's okay though. You look young. You look real young in that picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's awesome. Okay, okay. So the accessibility is all right. You seem to just say, fuck it, you know, I'm a man. Yeah. You know? Okay. Yeah. That's good, man. That's really cool. So you ended but, up. Oh, yep. But some buildings that need work on them. I'm not saying it for me. I'm saying it for other people because right. I mentor other people in wheelchairs and they tell me stuff and it's it's hard for them not mm. for me but it's hard for them so. absolutely so are you are you mostly or always in a in a manual wheelchair do you have an automatic wheelchair too uh wait can you see my electric wheelchair there i see electric wheelchair you use it as yeah. your coat hanger there yeah. i see that I, 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 I use that when I go outside in it. I use my manual wheelchair in the house. Right, I got you. Okay, yeah, that's understandable. So when it comes to when it comes to accessibility, things are so much harder when it comes to the uh, uh, automatic chair. Like when you get in that thing, it's bigger. Like the, those automatic chairs are bigger. And I know that when it comes to going outside and like different stores and stuff, you know, it's probably a little easier when it comes to the manual chair, right? You know, not not me. No, no it's eh? funny, you know, because. Uh, you know the public transport. Okay, like I buses and buses. stuff like that. Yeah, I got yep. public buses and go to the shops and everything, and I do everything in my electric wheelchair. I all that stuff. Like I go in shops, I do my shopping. I go. I used to go clubbing and all that stuff. But Yee! obviously, I'm going. I'm mature now. So. <laughs> how old were you? How old? So you're 29 now. So how old were you? Uh, how old is the drinking age in uh, the UK? Is it 21? Uh, nah, it's 18. Okay. So can you see this photo when I put it up like that? What, what photo? It's a, it's a photo when you're clubbing here. I'm trying to find this old... Okay. Whoa, what? There, there are loads of... There, there, oh, I, I see. Don't I see. I see how to share the screen. I apologize. Here we go. Screen one. Share. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's... That's one of them, yeah. Right? Here's you clubbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I like that. You got your electric wheelchair and stuff. Pretty girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, right, yeah, right? Yeah. So you do have, like, you, I mean, you used to be a model, you said, right? Model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did a little bit of modeling. Yeah. Did a little bit of rapping, right? Yeah, yeah, So, like, yeah. things you never, ever, ever let things stop you. Yeah, that, that, that guy told me for you know. This guy's, you know, uh... Like, yeah, he's you from Love like, Island. Yeah, yeah, tell me for Yeah, I met him. That's cool, man. Yeah. Look, you look fresh, man. You look fresh, <laughs> brother. I like it. I like it. So how do we get yeah. this back? I now don't know how to figure this out now. And there's a one of them in uh when I'm in Manchester as well with girls around me. I, I don't know where that is. Oh, in Manchester? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Manchester's pretty lit too. Is it? Yeah. So when we okay, what were we gonna say? I got lost track. So your dirty thirty. What's your plans for your dirty thirty? Then you're going clubbing or what? <laughs> gonna relive Quarter the vibe. young. Gonna go. Coronavirus, fam. Coronavirus. Oh, true. Yeah, <laughs> coronavirus. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, I had a fact to tell you. Then this is so random. This is super random. So in oh, the I UK. Every eight hours in the UK alone, um, 
someone someone is told that they're never walk again so essentially like this is not like you are not in any way shape or form alone when it comes to that like i always thought that maybe different places had different uh like lower stats when it comes to disability or higher stats right and i was like oh maybe uk has probably like a lower uh lower statistic and that's not the truth at all like every eight hours someone's told they're not gonna walk again so you know what let me say something like you know uh let me go back to the uh, accessibility in the uk and everything most places now by law have to be wheelchair active okay. it has to be okay. like when i first when i first signed up at my gym there wasn't there wasn't no lift for me um... but they were they were in the process of making that lift mm. so my mom wanted me to go to the newspaper and report it but i said yeah nah, that's, nah. that's funny I, you know what yeah they were, on their way. they were on their way so i said nah that's gonna cause more drama so you enjoy going to the gym too. I've seen a lot of pictures of you going to the yeah. gym and stuff. Like you seem to be a pretty fit yeah. guy. Like you absolutely let nothing stop you when it comes yeah. to shopping, going to the gym and stuff. Do you cook your own food and whatever? Like you live your own mm-hmm. life here. And this is something that I, one of the reasons why I wanted to start this podcast was to kind of show people that, you know, um, able-bodied people that look like people in wheelchairs can live a normal life like you can live like a semi-normal life and do whatever you really want to do like some people need more assistance than others right like myself i live alone i have a dog i have my own apartment i do my own thing right and like there's certain like everybody has their limitations right like it's why yeah i tell you i tell you a thing about me like when i was younger i used to have like a care that comes all the time and like get me get me dressed and everything yeah that was embarrassing 100%. and so now I, now I know how to do it myself yeah i would never go back to those days yeah never. yeah 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 and it's like you you sit there and it's like even like when it comes to transferring to like the toilet or to bed or like whatever it may mm. be or like getting your clothes on you sit there and you're like you know what this is frustrating it's embarrassing like you said you're like how do i where, how do I figure this out? You find different angles to be able to pull up your pants or different ways yeah, to be able yeah. to transfer and move Whoa. and do whatever, right? Well, like, hey, you look at that. Like, you got your little yeah. bar. That's sick. No, I don't. You did try. Assist me. Yeah, that's so helpful. That's so helpful, right? Things like that. Yeah. Anything, or even like the bed, where on the side of the bed you have those like railings and stuff. Like, I remember when I first yeah. got to the hospital, I had to have those. And I would grab it and I'd be able to pull myself a little bit to be able to turn myself. Because I didn't have that like core strength to be able to turn myself. And a lot of people yeah, that yeah. realize don't have that core strength, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, um, like, what is your ideal career when it comes to life now? Like, what do you want to do now? What's, do you know, what's your idea here? Oh, well, well, listen. I've been through mad transformation, you know, like. When I was younger, I, I wanted to be a singer. Okay. But then my sister used to say, you can't sing. And she was fair, to be honest, I can't sing. So, <laughs> then, I looked, so then I looked into rapping. And I started like rapping. That's where their name Shay came from. Right. And then I got bored of that. And then uh, when I went to college, my teacher was like, because um, uh, I was a wild kid in college, my teacher saw that. And you like, I want you to mentor this other kid in the wheelchair. And I was like, at first, I was like, now nah, what do I know about mentoring? I don't want to mentor some kid. Like, what do I know? I'm in the wheelchair myself. But then I thought about it, and then I thought, you know what? I'll give it a go. So I met the kid, and I met his mother, and yeah, I, I just been his mentor, and he's, he's doing great now. And So you like that. So you like the mentoring, then. That's something you enjoy. Yeah, I, did, I didn't like it at first, but uh, I got used to it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, what didn't you like about it at first? Because my teacher just came up to me and said, yo, Shane, you go clubbing, you go, you do all of this. So what, I see you're a positive person. Why don't you just give that to someone else? Mm-hmm. Now, I was thinking in my head at a young age, like I was 18, 19. I was thinking, what do I know about that? Like, I, I don't know how to teach no one and everything. I don't know how to do that. So yeah. I gave it a bit of four, and then I went to college to study study what I need to like get the qualifications and I've done it and now I'm successfully won so absolutely 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 what would you tell yourself that younger six-year-old you I know it's very very young I try to ask this question to everybody six-year-old is so young what would you tell six-year-old shade uh 
just prior to the accident just to let him know not to stop the accident but to say you know like get ready for something get ready i say, I say it's stupid look both ways before crossing the road look both ways before crossing the road lesson learned there you go that's actually that's actually a good call other than that accident have you ever broken any other bones like have you ever had any accidents like maybe fall out of your chair or any like uh, wild stories when it comes to like some crazy shit physiotherapy one time when i would do my leg stretch my leg my leg broke, my leg snapped what a physiotherapy i was stretching my legs and my leg snapped so one they were stretching like me. backwards well that yeah and it snapped well there was stretching from the knee in it right Right. And then snap so I had to have cars and then obviously all of us have fell out of bed at one stage, isn't it? Transferring. Oh I don't do it now. God, right. But yeah, I fell out of my bed it well transferring and everything. Yeah. But yeah. That's wild. I can't believe you're that's like the biggest fear ever, like people when they're working out and stuff like that to like have like a bone snap as they're working mm -hmm. out. Like it's too heavy of a weight. Uh, I've seen my... videos of people like doing arm wrestling. And then yeah. their arm just fucking snaps. I like, see that. I yes, see that. yes. Isn't that the most insane thing? You're like, man, I've done yeah. some arm wrestling in my life. You know, yeah. like I've done things or even like lifted weights where you're like, man, that's terrifying. I can't believe your mm. leg snapped. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Do, you snapped any, do you have any tattoos? You ink at all? No, I'm scared, you know. I'm scared, scared of the needles. You don't like the needles? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you're growing up, you're six years old, you've grown up getting needles. You, without a doubt, they give you shit tons of needles in the hospital. You know what? Every uh, I'm 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 bad at taking blood in it. So every time yeah, yeah. I, I remember this time, I remember this time like they're trying to take blood and everything. Am I always bleeding? Yeah, I said to the doctor, this looks like a crime scene. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that stop exaggerating, man. And yeah. then he does yeah, turn the blood in. And it's just, and it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when you get like a new person trying to take some blood, and you're just like, dude, you've poked me four times. Like, I don't, I'm not a push pin here. This is brutal. <laughs> you play any video games at all? Do you play any sports, video games at all? Uh, 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 sports. I used to play basketball. No, play, that's dope. I used to play football, wheelchair football. I used to play real football with people. Soccer, you call it soccer. Soccer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, soccer. Football. Right. And PlayStation. Uh, I yeah. I, I used to play PlayStation a lot, but me growing up now, I'm, my mind's focused on the other stuff. Like. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's different things, man. That's why. I still I still play PlayStation. No. Yeah. Time of course. Time. Free time. Time to time. Hell yeah. yeah, man. You gotta let loose sometimes. Come on, right? Yeah, yeah. Some people like me, like I'm trying to make that a living, right? Imagine having that yeah. to be fun. That'd be really cool. Yeah. So you played, uh, you play PlayStation. You play instruments at all? Any musical instruments other than rapping? Your own vocals. Growing up, you were playing instruments. Little snare uh, drum, little trumpet action. Hmm? You know, I I played a bit, yeah. I played the drum, and my teacher was like, "You're really good, you know." But I know she was a bullshit, and I was rubbing. <laughs> but she was like, "You're really good, you know." I like that. You're like, no, no, I'm just fucking banging <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm George of the Jungle yeah, out man. here. You're she's like, "You're really good," but I'm uh, I I I do like rapping because uh, right in school I used to get bullied a lot in it because. Obviously, that like, girl Jade, uh, Jade is how I got the name Shade. <clears throat> and uh, uh, the boy used to bully me all the time, and cause that's because his girl fancied me. But I, at the time, I didn't even like his girl, but he kept on bullying me. So I, I used to go home and cry and then write in rhymes and everything, took me to yeah. another place. And I just used to like, write about it and then rap it and then took me to another place. And... That's where the best lyrics come from. That's where the best things come from, for, like, yeah. from an emotional place. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's not always as easy just to pick up something. I remember being a kid thinking I was, like, going to be a little bit of a rapper myself, right? And, like, my boys, everybody around Eminem. me thinking, hey, yeah, uh, Slim Shady, let's go here. And get every, every, every. Yeah, no, I, uh, so, like, I remember writing some stuff down. And I remember being, being in, like, a state of kind of fucked up in the head and writing the better rhymes. I always mm. found that that's where the better rhymes came from. It's a little cliche. Yeah. It's where you get like that eight mile bullshit yeah. from. But yeah. Uh, but it's actually true. Like <laughs> yeah. your, best, your best thoughts come to you when you're depressed and you're sad and you just write. And then, yeah. Like I can never, like, if you check out all my raps, I can never write fake uh, shit. Like all of my rhymes, it came from the heart. Like I've been writing and it's coming from the heart. Like yeah. everything I write. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's uh, if you had a million dollars inherited to you? What would you do with it? A million Whoa. dollars. Whoa. I'll probably invest. I give it. I give some. I give it. Give it half of it to charity and everything. I give charity nowadays as well. Cause like, oh, uh, see this house I'm living in right now. Like. I paid for half of it anyway with my court case money that when I got run over. Oh, okay. So I, okay. I paid for half of the house anyway, but uh, probably to give it to charity. Like, I, I, you can ask all of my friends and everything. I don't really, I don't really like money. Like, I give right. money away. Right. I, I, I don't really, I'm not materialistic. So when you, so when you got hurt, you went to court, got a settlement from it, got mm. enough money to where you were able to kind of purchase half the house you live in now. I don't know about enough money, but yeah, yeah. But you got some money. You're able. You're able to put in a bit for you this know, house. Uh, you know what's funny though. You know what's funny. What's that? Uh, if that accident happened in England, I would have got ten million. Wow. What? Oh, because it happened in Dubai. Is it the money exchange difference? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They gave oh. me. They gave me peanuts. But if it happened in England, I'll be rich. <laughs> It is what it is. That's wild, brother. That's wild, man. So were you able to, so this place you live in now, like you guys renovated it or like how did that work out? Uh, uh, well, this, this, the, the whole room is like an um, uh, extension built onto like the main house. Oh, okay. So I, I got, you can say I got my own little flat studio place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my bathroom there, can you see it? My bathroom. A little PlayStation action there, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. PlayStation all that. That's funny, man, yeah. that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> if you had, if you could have a billboard, what would it have on it? Like if you could have your own billboard, shades billboard, what would you want to advertise on it to tell a main street? What do you want to tell the world? You could you could promote your own rap. You could you could talk about charity. You could give you could do whatever the fuck you want. What would you do? Uh Yo, come to my room because I was gonna set the guy in the room. Nah, nah. I, I would, I would, uh, I'll promote peace and love and everything because that's what I'm about. Like, right, promoting and peace and love, love, eh? Peace and love that's and good, love. man. That's good. The better, better each other, and that's what I try to do on my page. I try to better each other, write positive notes and everything, and better each other. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. I've noticed that you promote a lot of positivity on your page. I've yeah, noticed that. I, I like that a lot. Yeah. If you could, uh, if you could have dinner with anybody in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? Celebrity, anybody. Three people. Three people. You know Jessica Alba. I I know Jessica Alba. Trust me. Yeah, we, yeah. We That's one. I... <laughs> mm. Do I know Jessica Alba? Ah. <laughs> uh... Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else is there? Got two more pops. Uh, probably Michael Jackson if he was Ooh, alive. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good mix there. I like that. And lost. Uh, that has to be another beat. You could do you know, anybody. Uh, yeah. You could, you could do your mom. You know what I mean. You could do whoever you want. Would yeah, but my mom said I eat, I eat dinner with her a lot in it. So. <laughs> I eat dinner with my mom a lot. I'm gonna try to never dinner with her. I'm with Jessica Alba and Michael Jackson. Mom, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I uh, 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 Rihanna. Rihanna, good choice, good choice. Mm. Couple chicas. This is a weird question. I like to, I like to throw in a weird question every then. Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or fifty duck-sized horses? One horse-sized duck or fifty duck-sized horses? Duck-sized horses. 
uh, 50 dot size horses, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's where that's where the most of it came from too, because that duck is gonna yeah. pick you up and fucking fly you off, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right? And that thing can swim as well, right? Right? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. That's the random question I like to yeah. ask people. What about pineapple on pizza? You big? You like pineapple on pizza? You know, when I was young, I didn't eat that. Uh, you know, but and now it's kind of white. It's all right. You like it? You didn't I, like it at first, yeah, but now yeah. you do. And now it's all right. I'm adapting. Yeah. Uh, not a big pineapple I'm pizza guy. Not a big pineapple pizza guy. What? Yeah. Uh, what's the funniest thing that's happening recently? Anything crazy? The funniest thing that happened to me. Uh, funniest thing that's happening recently. It's in, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, I'm childish sometimes, isn't it? So I'm childish. Yeah, like, yeah, I like that. I like the smile. I like all that. I would say I go my business. But uh, I I never have another Instagram page where I just like um uh, prank people, and then you want to prank someone, people. Uh, and then someone someone said to me like, "Yo, show me yourself." And, and I said, "Uh, cause I always told them like this is who I am afterwards." Yeah. yeah. So I prank her. I'd be like, "Yo, fake profile." And then he goes, "Oh, reveal yourself then and everything." And I'm like, "Okay." So I sent a picture of me, and she was like. No way that's you. That's a, your catfish. And I go, what the hell? That is me. And like, nah, it's not you. That's not you. And, I go, and that gets me really angry. I'm like, but that is me. It's a bit of a compliment. It's a bit of a compliment, though, right? She thinks you're catfishing yeah. when it comes to that. <laughs> yeah, man. That, that really was me up. So what, what else has happened in your life? You said you had a lot to say. You said you had a lot of crazy mm. stuff happen. So talk so, to me about that. So... From 18, depression, uh, obviously, I, from 18, depression, because I saw people like playing football and everything and all that stuff, and I said, uh, I can't, I wish I could do that and everything, and then I'm looking at myself, and because I don't walk with my legs, my legs are getting thinner, so depression, I'm just looking at myself like, my mind, uh, I was like, I didn't want to live no more, and then, I used to go out a lot. I used to go out a lot in town. Uh, in town, like, uh, from 18 to, like, 25, I was always in town meeting people, meeting girls, because I always got, like, that respect from people. I don't know. But they say, don't, it's their words, not mine. Mm -hmm. They say, like, say you're one of the coolest people in the, in the wheelchair I know, and you got good dress sense, so I think that's... And that's why they're like hanging out with me. I I don't know, but yeah. So uh, so you think well, you thought that people were hanging out with you? Why? Because you're in the chair? Yeah, because they said to me like, uh, the first time I started college, they were like, you, you uh, we wanted to. I wanted to be with you and everything because I wanted to be with you and everything because. Of your dress style, something, 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 but something about you is different, like mm -hmm. the way you dress, the way you carry yourself, mm -hmm. and everything. And they feed up on that, and they love it. So that's why they said they're rather like, you know, that's good, chill man. out with me and everything. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm just me. I, I'm just me. I, I, I just do me. Mm -hmm. Uh, brother, can I get your door for a minute, like? Can you pause this? Of course, I'll, I get I'll pause it for a minute. Of course, yeah. They say to me now, because like my friends that been friends with me for almost 10 years, they say to me, like, when I first saw you say that, your your swagger your, your swagger stood out and you carry yourself and you carry yourself really well. That's what made me want to talk to you and everything. You're a confident individual. Like that's the big thing. Like you're a confident yeah, ass individual, man. That's what they said, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I mean I I just be me, and I just do me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people, people like it. people like it. So, so after yeah. everything, sort of after this confidence, sort of became like prominent in your life after the depression stage, and you got your <laughs> you got your uh, you got your swagger back and everything. Like, what's now life's been a little bit better than eh? You got a couple of buddies and shit. Uh, yeah, I got I got a lot of buddies, a lot of buddies, but I'm uh, I still depression doesn't go away in it. So. No. Sometimes I still get depressed and everything, but I, 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 I kind of put on a mask with it sometimes because people, people, people see me 
I, I think it's my fault, a bit because people see me and they're like, "Oh, Shay, he's the one that's always smiling and everything." So, I I feel like I can't disappoint them. Yes. So yes. I always have to like put on a smile and everything because they always know me to be smiling and talking and yeah. happily and everything, and they always say to me like. Yo, Shay, you're too, you're strong to be in a wheelchair and everything. And they're really painting the picture of me, like, of how I should be. So I don't want to let them down and but that's sometimes in it. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Yeah. What do you guys, what do you and your boys do on a daily basis now? Like on a night, tonight's Friday night. It's, what, it's pretty late for you guys now. Your boy just came over. What's your plan for tonight? And nowadays. Yeah, nowadays, yeah, yeah. But or back then too. Nowadays, back then. Back day, back days, it would definitely be a chill thing. Like, yeah. Obviously, me going out, like I had loads of money, like when when I was a kid as well from the country. So, right. I'll be like getting hotels, chilling at places, clubs, and everything. But every obviously, when you got money, everyone's around you in it. Hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah. So, and as a young kid, I didn't know what to do with the money because I was I was just a kid. So. Yeah, I was just spending it a day, like I was saying to my mate, you want to go here and eat and everything, I got you and everything. And that's another thing with me, like, my, the people around me are the same people, the people, some people, I'm a, a people around me when I was young, are the same people here now. That's why I don't, yeah. I keep my, I keep my circle small. Yeah, you got it. Some people have, some people have just have used me for my character, because I'm a nice guy and if I see someone uh, struggling, I give them money and everything. And yeah, but they, you know what they say, last guy, uh, nice guy finished last. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm starting to feel that, but yeah, I just can't change. I can't change that. It's my personality. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't seem yeah. to be a very like money doesn't seem to be a very big thing to you. Yeah. Like it is what it is. Like you've got yeah, your as long life. As, as, long as, as long as you got like a roof over your head and you're good and you can eat and everything it's, that's all that matters if you've got love family yeah money don't matter yeah exactly exactly yeah. so what's the plan yeah. for the future then what's your plan for the future when it comes to all this like you kind of got your small group of friends you've got everything set you got a little roof over your head like you seem to be pretty happy i know that we all have our depressed days right so what's the plan yeah. you're turning 30 soon i mean i was meant to get married like this year and all that stuff but mm -hmm. obviously the girl was uh Acting a bit funny in it, so. How long were you guys I, together? I, 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 had to, I had to lock her off five months. Okay, well. So I had to lock her off because she was acting a bit like, you know, a bit funny and everything. So, yeah. But prior to that, I've had other girlfriends too, and uh, it just hasn't worked out. Like. Yeah, five months is a pretty short amount of time. Maybe you should uh, yeah. just make sure you make sure. At least a year you're with somebody and find yeah. out who they really, really truly are, right? Mm. That's how you find out. Like throughout yeah. the time, uh, you obviously find different things that you may or may not like. But I find after that mm. whole 365 days yeah. a year, you find yeah, out definitely. who people really are, right? And that's yeah, not even man. just that's not even just girlfriends. Like, that's like buddies too, right? Like you said, you've got these buddies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah my, my real buddies from day one, like. From when I was like 10, they're still with me today and riding with me. But some of them does. They were just there for the money and yeah. just there for the show. Cause I remember like you can ask any one of all my friends, like, I you know, you know what the gift of the gap means? Right. The gift of the gap. Like I have that, like I have a way of talking in it, so I can set up like anyone with any girl with it. I can I can just do that. So best wheel man ever. I Literally, they, best wheel man ever in wheels. We out here. Yeah, I think I think they just used me for that and all that stuff. So. Well, I mean, whatever you used that. Oh. So that's what do you think that people misunderstand about you most? Is that you're too like friendly and that you have a fucking heart? You know what I mean? Like, uh, people, pe people, some people just know I have a good heart and all that yeah. stuff. But. Yeah. So they I think about it. some people do that. Some some of them don't and everything like that. And uh yeah, that's Yeah, it seems yeah. like you found your circle though. Like it seems like you've got like how many buddies do you think you got? Like a good five buddies that you can rely on, you know? Uh, about eight. Oh there, okay. that's not bad. Yeah. 
<laughs> I feel like I'll help. I'll help anyone if I see people struggling. Like, I will help anyone. That's awesome, man. Like you seem to be a good guy. Um, is your are both your parents still around? I see this picture, and this is I asked you if this was your. <laughs> yeah, it's that is my pops. Is that your pops? Is uh, this your pops? Nah, he's a he's a, he, he, uh, a pimp in a uh, uh, Birmingham City Center. This guy. <laughs> I need a pimp. I, I said like, yo. I <laughs> Is that your pops? Oh, you responded, nah. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I'm like, yo, this guy is actually legit nah. right now. <laughs> nah, I know my pops. <laughs> yeah, you've got a great Instagram that's constantly, constantly inspiring positivity like is this one of your modeling photos right here yeah, that, yeah that's a model photo yeah. you know what this is right what you're wearing this hey. is the canadian tuxedo you're wearing you know that right oh uh, that's denim jeans yeah all denim, denim all denim is yeah. known as the canadian tuxedo all right i want you to look that up wow. i'll tell you that right now people know wow. that a hundred percent even my listeners will be like yeah that's a canadian the boy from the uk is rocking the canadian <laughs> tuxedo i love it i love it yeah. I love that, yeah. man. You've got a lot of ins like inspiring stuff constantly. Like if you look at your your uh, your quotes, one day I'm going to change the world and make it a better place. Like I just clicked on a random one because you you rock in that Wu Tang hat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. <laughs> my girlfriend is a massive fan of Wu Tang. Huge, huge fan yeah. of Wu Tang. Do you have any brothers like and sisters at all? Like, is this? Uh, I've like. Is your niece here? That's, that's my niece, yeah. I can't wait to be a daddy. I'm going to give the kid everything. See, you're a very positive yeah. guy. So this is your little niece? Yeah, yeah. So you're, are you the youngest of a couple? I'm the third, actually. Third oldest. Oh, you're the first? Yeah, I'm so, the third, third, third. Oh, the third. I'm okay, the third. okay. I got you. I got you. Well, another modeling yeah. photo here. I like that. Confidence <laughs> is key. I think someone, someone drew the picture of me on that photo. This one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. That's awesome. Make stuff sure, like yeah. that, when people do stuff, it makes you feel so good. You know, it makes mm. you feel, uh, I'm so gassed like, right I now. Like, mommy, I made it. <laughs> yeah, mommy, I made it. I made it, mama. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Constantly, constantly inspiring positivity. Here's you at the gym. There's some big girls on this. Oh, I shout out as well. There's some big girls who I shout out as well. Yeah, I've seen a couple of cute girls on here. This is, is it you usually dress like this when you're at the gym? All blessed out like Every, that? Everyone says that, you know, like, hey, yo, you look good, you feel good. Yeah, and that, you know what? I say that all the time. Look good, feel good's like my favorite phrase. My favorite phrase. Yeah. Rocking the bandanas constantly, eh? Where's your bandana sponsorship? I don't have one right now. Bro. Not yet, not yet. We'll work on that. We'll work on that. Yeah. That's funny, man. That's awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad. What uh, What else? You What else did you want to say? I know you said you had lots going on in your life. You had tons to say, and I want to hear it. I want. I know my listeners yeah, so, do too. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, I I I get depressed sometimes and all that stuff, but I I I don't show people. I don't I I don't like to show people my depressed side because I feel like. If you say you're depressed and thing, it's just a weak spot for people to attack you on that. When, when, and I, I felt like I'm the only guy in the wheelchair in my family, so I felt like no one really understands what I'm going through. So I, uh, I, uh, I, I just kept it to myself and everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Do you know anybody else uh, around you that's in a wheelchair, or did you keep any type people? I, I, I know from the I hospital. Know, I know. I know a few actually, but I'm uh, I'm I'm really the only positive one out of all of us. So yeah, so. So how do you know these people? Like just talking to them online, or like in in real life? Yeah, I've I've met I met people in real life and all that stuff, but they they like they 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 say they say stuff like put you down in there like I, right I, they don't, they're not, they're, they're, I don't i'm not i'm sure they mean well but they're like they you are sometimes negative stuff and it come out and yeah i'm not i'm not about that no I'm no you don't seem negative by any means by any means yeah so I'm but i mean you went through that dark time right like what uh 
some pretty wild yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, I've uh, I've been a model too, and I've been at my own radio show. Tell I've, me about uh, that. Tell me all about that. I want to hear about that. Like, what did the radio oh, show consist of? So the radio show was called The Shade Hour. The Shade Hour, uh, okay. My, my boss made that name up. and I like that. Basically, basically it was, uh, I used to interview other people in wheelchairs. Oh, shit. Different platforms. Like you're doing. Fucking right, like I'm doing. Yeah, just like I'm yeah. doing. And, uh, yeah, I used to do that a lot. But then I had to end because my boss went to Cardiff in Wales. Oh, okay. So, I, I, it was my producer and I couldn't, yeah, so I had to end. Then I said so I want to do modeling. But so before you go into the modeling, I apologize. The producer, so did you go actually to a studio? You went and every day kind of yeah, talked into? And every week. Every week? Okay. And you just yeah, had yeah, like a little cool. segment in the studio where the shade hour yeah. came in and you talked to disabled people just about life, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. yeah. That's Dude, that's life. freaking awesome. Okay. Yeah. So then it kind of went over to modeling a little bit. Yeah, I, 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 I like doing everything. I, I don't like doing one thing, so I, I went into modeling. And yeah, uh, but my mom was scared for me to do that because, like, for modeling, you have to tra- you have to travel a lot, like, get on a train to London, Birmingham, Manchester, Newcastle. And it's a lot of work. Yeah, absolutely. But, um, uh, so I've done that for a bit. Did you and like then, it? Did your radio you did your modeling which i think is super cool you did you think your mom kind of stopped you from the modeling or how long ago was all that what what happened there uh uh i stopped myself from doing modeling actually because like whatever i get in my head i do it i i, I no one can stop me yes yes I'm, I'm very i'm very ambitious I'm i like ambitious. that i like that but it was just too much in the end so i like traveling and everything so i kind of stopped that but i like the free clothes you got <laughs> you a free clothes, I like that. Hell but, yeah, uh, hell yeah. So how'd you pursue something like that? How do you pursue a modeling career? I don't even know how to do something like that. Uh, so I went online and I sent a picture like, uh, cause my cousin was like, you should do modeling. And I was like, nah. Ah, so I, 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 like, nah, don't even gas me like that. Stop and then, it. And then, and then I thought, mm, maybe, cause like, you're in the wheelchair, you got confidence and everything. So I'm like, hell maybe. yeah. So, I sent my picture and they're like, you got a uh, bone structure for it. So yeah, and then it does happen like that. That's it. And Just then, snap your fingers, all of a sudden you're a model. <laughs> I done that for a while and then I just got bored of that. Like, so, and then afterwards I went to the person again and then afterwards I just got out of that. And I'm always doing stuff like to better myself and everything. Like I told mm. everyone like, uh, I tell everyone like I try to bear myself every single day. I wake up better than yesterday. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you heard of Britain's Got Talent? Britain's Got Talent. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. There's like America's Got Talent, Britain's Got Talent, all yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went on there, but I'm uh apparently uh they said my jokes weren't funny, but but oh, you went on there as a comedian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit! No shit! How do we get access to this footage? How did uh, I not they, know about this? I, it wasn't. It wasn't because they said I wasn't that funny enough in it because, and 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 they said my jokes were offensive because I'm joking about myself in a wheelchair. Let's hear a couple jokes. Let's hear a fucking joke or two here. I want to hear an offensive joke. You are on the right platform and the right channel to tell a couple offensive jokes right now. This is parked and wrecked. I just said like. I, uh, your, your little brothers are meant to look up to you and all that stuff. But, um, uh, I look up to them now. It's just cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> Anything yeah, else? Yeah. Whatever. What else you got? I like this. I love and then, jokes. And I was like, uh, <laughs> oh, what was it? I don't know. It's been a long time. It's been a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny, man. I can't believe yeah, that. Man. But everyone said you got balls to do that because everything I do, think of in my mind, I just say, right, I'm going to do that. And then You know what? Everything that you seem to have done takes balls to do. To put yourself out there on the radio, that takes balls to do, man. You're you're not only 
talking on the radio, you're talking to people in the same situation as you, people that are, you know, like in a, in, in, in a troubled life platform. Then you went over to modeling. You're, you, you, you then are putting a picture of yourself out there trying to show people that like, pay attention to me because I'm a good looking dude. That's tough to do too, man. And then all of a sudden you go over again, back to the voice thing again, and you want to be a comedian. And then you put your, your whole body out there. You got your whole body, you and your voice. You know what I mean? Like that's sort of how I look at it. First you had your voice, then you had your body because the modeling, and then you mix it together for the, the comedic. You've done it all, man. You, you have no problem putting yourself out there whatsoever. I mean, I, I just want like disabled people to like, why is it like right? Why is that? I know That's that. it, man. Most people don't. When they think of disability, they only think like, oh, he's paralyzed, so we can't do this and this and this. We're a certain and fucking more, cult. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, and the more people say that I can't do something, the more I want to do it. A hundred percent. A hundred percent, bro. If I ever, man, people, so I do a lot of streaming. Right, so I'm streaming this on my Twitch channel. I don't know if you know what Twitch is, but it's like a yeah. platform, yeah, for like gaming and stuff like that. So I, um, I do Twitch and YouTube and stuff like that. And I've had people come down on me. You know, I've had people come down on me and say, you know, uh, you're only entertaining because you're obnoxious. Because I get pretty into it sometimes, right? And he, there are the people are. Uh, I've had people say that to me. I've had people yeah. say, you know, you've been doing this for too long. I've been doing this for two, like, two and a half years. They're like, how far have you gone in two and a half years? Where do you see yourself going and stuff like that? And I'm like, look, man, I'm going to be doing this anyways. You know what I mean? I'm going to be gaming and you know, talking to people anyways. Why not press that record button and see what happens? Okay, I got a question for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot. PlayStation or Xbox? Xbox, bro. Grow up. Grow up. And you know what? I'm going to fucking counter all of that and say PC Master Race. PC. Nah, bro. It's all about PlayStation. Nah, nah, you th what happens is you throw those consoles out and not even, you just use those consoles for like Netflix and chill, right? That's all you use these consoles for, yeah. right? Is a Netflix platform, okay? Then you just grab yourself a PC and you stay up for all, all hours of the night and just play with your body, sweating and drinking G Fuel. And just fucking yeah. going for it, right? Yeah. Now, PC Master Race, man. It not, not only are you able, not only since I switched to PC have I, have I been able to play games at a high resolution and whatnot, but I can do this. You know what I mean? I can't do this yeah. on my Xbox or PlayStation. You know what I mean, I have three monitors right now doing different things right now so I can do what I want to do. You know what I mean? And then I can shut all of this down. And I can just watch a movie and play a video game at the same time. You know, there's just so much when it comes, you know, there's just so much when it comes to the PC or, you know, you could, you could do school, you could do your schooling on PC. You can do whatever you want to do. And uh, I just think PC yeah. Master Race is, it, it is a lot of money, but if you do it the right way, you, uh, you build a PC um, with the right parts and you, you, you take the time to find the right deals, man. Like, I don't know, PC Master Race. Do you have both your hands are working, right? Both your hands are good to go? Yeah, yeah, Something yeah. like PC, man, would be sick. Yeah. Something like PC would be sick, man. What's, uh, what do you think the, one of the biggest failures that's happened to you in the past little while has Failure. been? Failures. Everybody's got failures, bro. I know you're a confident person. What's a failure that's happened to you recently? <laughs> Nobody's perfect, right? And you're a tough guy, so I know you can admit at failures. It could be anything, man. It could be the way you talk to a girl. You know? You like I just you know. I don't see that as a failure though, look. Look <laughs> what about your yeah, yeah, yeah. What about your uh, your relationship that kind of just kinda of went down there a little bit? Kind of what happened there? Oh, oh that, that wasn't me, that was her. <laughs> that was her. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I respect that. What happened with her? Was she being a little sneaky or what? Too. Yeah, not probably people and all that stuff. Like, mm. I was like, nah, mm. nah, I'm not for that. Trying to party. Trying to send me back and then everything, but I'm, uh, nah, I'm not on that. Nah, I, yeah, I, I respect yeah. that, man. I respect yeah. that a lot. Uh, what is your biggest tip? What, what's your best tip for making the world a better place? And is it? And I think it has to do with you letting people know about disabilities. You know, you know, you know what I I do. I, I'm not going to talk for anyone else, but I'm going to talk for me because I, I do that. Like, I, I smile with a lot of people and because, because like, smiling is a big thing. Like, it's contagious. If, if you're like, 
if you're like if you're like screw face and everything no one's gonna want to come up to you and talk to you yeah but if you're smiling and everything you're welcoming someone to come up to and talk to you yeah so i smile a lot and everything and that's that bring people close to me and everything and then we start talking like i'm not saying i get every girl because i don't because some girls are like some girls think to yourself like you know maybe maybe he's in a wheelchair in it and maybe i'm gonna have to look after him and everything and that's our own prerogative man yeah that's fine it's perfectly fine because you're thinking that but but some of them come up to me and talk to me and everything and then they find out i'm self-caring that's perfectly fine but the ones i can't stand nah that's a poor choice i can't mm. stand anyway so you think <laughs> that making a smile so you think that's just everybody giving a little bit of smile every now and then could change the world a little bit just yeah, a good yeah, smile. Yeah. Yo, I totally agree with that. That was yeah, one of the best yeah. answers to this question that you could have possibly said is just a smile. Yeah. That and his smiles smile. are contagious, man. And he really, yeah, but like people, you said. People, people walk up to you and smile. I've, I've done it loads of times. And people like yeah. walk up to me and start talking to me and say, Oh, you cute and it it starts a conversation up and all that Yeah, stuff. yeah. And it's hard. I mean, it's hard enough for us to be in chairs for people to feel comfortable mm. talking. But if you've got a smile on, maybe, you know, maybe yeah. people feel a little more comfortable than if you got a shitty face yeah. on, right? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. It's just... Yeah, that's smile with people and uh, treat them with respect and all that stuff. Like, like my friend... Uh, she swore at someone just for looking at her because she was in the water, so she felt kind of, you know, I had to, he's probably staring at you because he's never really seen that in his life, so he's curious. And then his I, first interaction is you uh, swearing at him. So I probably he's probably never gonna talk to somebody in a wheelchair again, yeah, <laughs> or even talk. look at them again, because he's gonna get shit talked. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I said to her, I said to her afterwards like you gotta chill out because yeah. he, he probably never seen this before and yeah. because he's curious and everything. Yeah, like, yeah. What about you? Like, yeah, yeah. Do you have stuff like that happen to you at all, where you find that people are looking? Uh, why was my camera upside down? You're upside down right now, boss. Right. Shade. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. There it is. So, 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 I, when people stare at me, I, I just look at them and smile back and everything. But some people in wheelchairs get intimidated by that. Like they don't like. They're like, what are you doing? I'm problem and everything, but you've got to understand, like, they're curious. They have a, they've probably never seen them before, so they're curious, and they want to ask questions and everything. Like, kids come up to my wheelchair every time and say, oh, well, why have you got that in your phone and everything? And then parents are like, nah, don't, don't ask them that. And I'm like, it's okay, you've got to educate them. Yeah. They're like, know this and everything like that. You know, so this is... Yeah, so this is the third episode I've done, and every episode, uh, one of my one of my guests has said that a kid has tried to come up to them and ask them some questions, maybe whatever, and the parent feels standoffish, and uh, maybe they don't feel comfortable in the fact that maybe offend you from the chair. I think that's huge. I think that's huge that maybe some of my listeners can know that um, if you have kids, just to kind of let them ask questions. And hopefully the person yeah. in the chair is comfortable enough to answer them. You know what I mean? It sucks that there are people yeah. that are going to swear at you from a distance. But there yeah. are people like myself and Shade that will answer these questions properly with a smile. Yeah, right? Yeah, right? And that, I think, is the only way to go about doing something like that. You know? I, so many so many kids come up to me and ask me questions mm -hmm. and try questions me, but and I don't want them back and everything. But mm -hmm. Some people don't, don't want to, but uh, it's educating them. Yeah, that's all right, man. That's all right. So well, let's uh, let's kind of end this here. I wanted to I wanted to yeah. share your I wanted to share your Instagram and let the people know where they can find you because you're a really inspirational guy. Mm -hmm. And if you just want to let the people, fight. yeah, if you just want to let the people know where they can find you, okay, and uh, that's wheel, strength. wheel strength there, I like yeah. that. And I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you ever wanted to hit shade up here, obviously you can tell he's a very nice guy. He's he's educational when it comes to the wheelchair facts. And if you're a cute chica, he'll give you a little shout out from the chair, obviously, right? It seems, right? 
He's got a pass, a little bit of clubbing pass. Dude, you look nice in this photo. You look nice in this photo, you, bro. Yeah. No, he's a, he's a great individual, guys. And uh, I hope you guys go out there and give him a follow. Maybe shoot him a message and uh, just know that he's he's willing to answer any questions that you have and whatnot so i don't know i had yeah. a great time shade thank you so thank much you, for coming man. on here man maybe we being can get this going good. again sometime being good man yeah yeah, story yeah. Continues. awesome awesome the story continues and let's uh, hope yeah. to get you on here again sometime soon okay oh, I'm, oh, I'm, all right bless take care oh, cheers, cheers. cheers.